just doing what I do every day, play Battlefront. I pretty much, uh, you know, dedicated my life to this game. And it's stupid, but that's what we do here, play Battlefront. And this is my little office, as you can see. I got the Buzz Lightyear toy, I got Woody, I got Graves and Ghostbusters, I got Back to Future Shoes. I got another bus light here. I got my Ghostbusters hat. I made this myself. I thought it'd be cool. And I got this thing in the mail recently. This is pretty darn sweet. This is a light up USB cord data cable. What this enables you to do is always know where the hell this cable is. So I think this should be standard. In my opinion, they should always give you lighted cords because it is tough to find the cord when you don't know where the tip is. And you know, now I know. The battlefront. What can I say about it? It's like it's it's like the same as it always is. It's really just a massive, uh, incredibly, you know, mixed bag of a game. I don't know why they make the ships tokens. If they just changed that and made it to be like you could just fly the ship normally and then land it, I would love this game so much more. It's just that you gotta go get a token and get a ship, gotta go get a token and get power ups. The previous Battlefronts, even on the PSP, would, didn't even do this stuff. It was like the vehicles were on the map, you could go get them. Simple as that. So, how are they going to make it this one? And in fact, the matter is that EA has made games with, you know, vehicles on the map that you could easily acquire. So, to make this game the way that it is, is just a strange chemistry. I don't know why they decided this is the best method of making Battlefront. That in the sequel, as I don't care, man. I spent the money on the season pass. A lot of people are saying, No, don't do it because this is just a big cash grab. And I, I admit it is, but I'm a Star Wars guy. I'm gonna have to, you know, I bought every Battlefront so far and played every Battlefront, PSP Battlefront. I've played it online. That was an amazing game. I wish they would re release that one. I've played them. I've played a whole lot of Battlefront. And I'm not going to just not play this stuff. It's here. It's going strong. People are playing it. We still have users. We're, we're very much on EA's side. That's what makes it hurt that EA is not caring about what we fans think. And that's, that's just, you know, if they actually listened to us and said, okay, we will deliver, we will give you a better Battlefront experience, we would love the game a whole lot more. Now they're, they're, they're pushing us away. You know, they're not caring about what we think and want. But where are the people spending money on their games? So that's really not good in any, in any which way or form. That they're not respecting us for, for, for being the fans who, who love the game and want to see the game improve. Um, continuously I'll, I'll keep playing it because I you know I love what I do I love Star Wars I love the, the world but this is not the best Star Wars Battlefront game Star Wars Battlefront the best Star Wars Battlefront game right now today is Star Wars Battlefront 2 sad to say you can fly in space the maps are ridiculously huge and fun and there's just the graphics aren't up to this thing but the gameplay is so much superior it's retarded why this game is not as good as Battlefront 2. If, if you want a definitive answer on whether you should get this game, all I can tell you is that Battlefront 2 is still better today. At this point in time, Battlefront 2 is just a better game than this one. It's like, this one has its moments, but overall, you're gonna go back to Battlefront 2 and have a hell of a lot more fun with that game.